Uh, it feels great, uh, apart from that we need an umbrella every half an hour, which is always the issue at Spa. Um, the area is known for its uh, rain throughout the season and obviously we're getting some of that for this race. But to be fair, that's what it's all about. It's a compromise around this circuit and that comes just with the car and with the weather at the same time. Well, I've been driven this car since last race last year and I've only done five laps or so in the wet conditions. So I haven't tried the, uh, tried the car in the, uh, in the dry with slicks and that may not happen until I get into the race. But so far, so good. Uh, worked on the car, made some good progress. Very unfortunate during qualifying that the clutch broke on us because I think the car would have been capable of top six grid position. Eddie Cheever, Matt Bell did a terrific job and uh, you know with the drying conditions they were heading up the, uh, the time sheets consistently. This is one of the big 24 hour races on the calendar. You know you've got Le Mans, you've got Daytona, you've got Spa, you've got uh, Norschleifer. The key 24 hour races and to be here, be with United Autosports and to be with the calibre of drivers that we've got in our team is a lot of fun and uh, I think if you're into uh, motorsport and you haven't really touched a 24 hour race and haven't seen endurance racing then it's something that you should do it's definitely on the uh, the to-do list it'd be nice to be on the podium again uh, as you say we achieved that last year uh, if we could go a bit further up that would be fantastic but before we do that we have to complete 24 hours and that's all about durability consistency it's a tough one, uh, not easy on drivers, not easy on a team and definitely not easy on a racing car, so uh, a lot to be done.